Hey there. We were working for a good friend of ours, Brendan, and he was playing homeowner that day. He's a very competent dude. He's intelligent, he's a hard worker, um, and he stayed out of the way unless we asked him for help on that elm towards the end. So that's why he didn't have a helmet on, so forgive. Uh, or leave a shitty comment if you want, I don't care. Tree work basically is all about solving problems. One problem after another. And when you're working through it in your head, as I was with this elm, I was thinking, well, if I did that, that would solve this problem, but then it would create that problem. So now you got to solve that problem. It's just a long equation. Some are longer than others. And so I finally had figured if it were to fail with me tied into it, then I would just swing gracefully with it. I also didn't expect this tree to be supported entirely by the crispy ass dead branches out there that were caught up in the ash tree. I wasn't expecting that. I figured, hell, this thing's crispy as hell. There's no way those crispy tips are holding up the whole thing. Maybe a little bit, but <clears throat> anyways, it was holding up the entire thing. So I didn't quite plan to go swinging with a cut piece above my head. And that was my main concern was if Aaron on rope were to let it down on top of me, but she of course is smart enough not to do that, but still a worry in the back of my head or the branch flipping somehow, um, and bonking me in the head, which didn't happen, uh, which was good. So it worked out. The one thing I could have done that would have just been the icing on the cake, the cherry on top, would to set that secondary climb line that I'll mention in the video. Uh, I should have set that. Uh, that would have just solved that equation entirely because when it did fail and swung, I would have just been suspended there freely, fine. I wouldn't have had to lanyard into the dead tree because you always need to have two points of attachment when you're cutting. That second climb line would have been very good but it turned out all right we walked away from it we planned for it it's always good to plan for it especially sketchy shit always plan 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 you see a problem solve it you see another problem solve it you get in the tree you see another problem now solve it uh just keep solving these problems until there's no more problems to solve and if you can't solve the equations in your head before you go up in the tree don't go up in the tree Find another way to do it uh, until this equation has been solved in your head or walk away. Uh, there's no shame in walking away. I've done it. You, you don't want to, I mean, fuck. Some things are just like, fuck, that's crazy. I don't know how to do this. So you walk away because it's too risky. And that's something you learn as you put yourself in shitty situations and you keep trying to push, push and push and push and you start to understand the boundaries of your skill level. Uh, that's when you know and become confident um, in walking away. So, enjoy the video. We're removing this dead, fallen over elm tree. I don't know if you can see from here, but the back side of that root system is totally gone, rotted away. It's still got some life left. Okay, so I set up a V-ringing system here pulley down there in the middle, tensioned it down with a rope jack because I can't afford a GRCS. Hopefully that will keep it from failing and falling with me in it because I don't know how much of this baby walnut and that ash tree is holding it up. So when I cut all that free, I don't want it to topple over with me in it. Here's what I got. We're gonna make it happen. This is gonna be a rigging point for Aaron. I'm using the Omni 1.5. I'll take smaller branches. She can lift them up over our V-rigging system. Lower them down by hand. Yeah. We'll be good to go. And we are off. Oh, hey, doggos. Boy, my spurs just sunk into that like a sponge. Look at that. <laughs> Yeah. It's definitely been dead for a while. Well, it was standing up like two years ago. I noticed it was standing up. Yeah. 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 Yeah
<laughs> it's all right. We've taken some pretty good precautions. I don't feel too bad in it. Yeah, worst case scenario, I swing a little with it while it stays suspended, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This will be fun. And my tie-in point is a super small, straight up and down skinny hackberry, so it's super bouncy. What's up? Oh. F you, because that ash is bouncy and I keep up. Well, we had you on some small redirects on that ash. All right. Nicely thrown. There's more weight above my block than there is below, so it could teeter-totter. Um, so we'll just hope that doesn't happen. So we're going to try to keep from dropping anything over here, uh, kind of for obvious reasons. It's, it would be a tangled up, nasty, unpleasant mess. So the plan is to lift up and move material to the other side of the fence. As Erin tugs on my rigging point, because she thinks she's funny. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I guess this would be, a, you know, I could have set another tie-in point there with another rope. I guess that would have been smart now that I think about it out loud. Okay, you ready? Yep. She's going to snap, cut it, and it'll, yeah. You know, I might swing over and prune up that walnut a little actually or maybe not you got it oh man when the first cut's a good cut you know it's gonna be a good day you never know when shit's gonna hit the fan <laughs> try and keep all my weight on my tie-in point but my tie-in point is so springy that's hard to do look at that little hole for my spur it was meant for my spur all righty and the wind's gonna blow. Pull me off. Feel your tie-in point moving, yeah, you just gotta move with it. Become one with your tie-in point. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Grab it in. What? I it's a wishbone. Grab it in. A wishbone. Yeah, we could probably break that too. I bet. All good now. Now we're just taking weight off. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna push my luck. <laughs> Oh no, you, oh, okay, you're able to unwedge yourself. They're surprisingly much heavier than uh, they appear. So now to one of the uh, one of the sections in the tree that might be holding up some of its weight. So we'll see what happens when we pop that one loose. That's fine. That's fine right there. That's fine. I can control these. Okay, let me get slack out of my rope yeah, and then. Yeah, try not to freaking. Yeah, that's, that's ridiculous. Okay, you're good. You're good. I can I can get the rope back now. Thank you. I just wanted to get the slack off this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, screw that. Yeah. Whoa, you guys don't think I go a little further? It's moving, right? There's this huge cavity on the back side of this. And this limb is just open. I won't bounce. That was dumb. Yeah. But it's opening and closing. It's it looks good. 
Yeah, I did. I did bypass a little, but obviously not enough. No, not enough. That should give it to you. There you go. Yeah, way it wasn't cut all the way. Yeah, this this came down about four or six inches after I cut that, so it was supporting a little bit of its weight. Yeah. worked it out in my head I've gotten rid of enough weight there's there's more weight below the block now so if it does fail I mean I'll stay suspended with this rigging we're good this dang springy hackberry isn't making up its mind how much stretch are you gonna give me buddy then I get it nice and super tight and the wind blows it's, it sucks about tying into small trees okay <laughs> you got the branch? Yeah. Okay, hold the branch tight. Let me unclip myself and come down before you let it down. <laughs> I knew that shit would happen. That looks awesome. <laughs> and you're not out of it either. <laughs> I just didn't want it to happen while I was holding a running chainsaw. Oh well. No one died. Eric, come here and help pull this. Okay. I got spikes on. I don't want to spike anyone's foot. Ready? One, two, three. There we go. One, two, three. Well, that's one hell of a way to get out of a tree. Great job, guys. Now we're living the dream. The entire weight of that tree was being supported, supported by this one tiny thing. <laughs> All of it. <laughs> well, cool. That saves us the trouble of having to make a stump cut to swing it over. We can just let it down. Yeah. <laughs> Bill F. Fall. Thank you. Oh,